Has Red Bull been cheating so far this season? That's what Lewis Hamilton is wondering. I'm Alex Harrington, let's get into it right now. Lewis Hamilton sparked rumours after qualifying at the Hungarian Grand Prix this weekend when he brought attention to how Red Bull has lost pace compared to the rest of the top five teams. This is what he said. Obviously, I think they've slowed down quite a bit from the beginning of the year. I mean, just looking at the DRS, they don't have the DRS advantage all of a sudden that they used to have. Where did that go? They just had an upgrade, so you'd expect them to take another step. We heard it was around two tenths or something like that. For them to not be able to extract that in qualifying is interesting. What he's asking is, has the FIA stepped in and changed something on the RB19? Because it wouldn't be the first time this has happened. 2019 actually saw Max Verstappen accusing Ferrari of cheating, and this forced the FIA to open a technical investigation into their power unit. It was eventually revealed that the Scuderia were overfueling their cars to produce more power, but because it's Ferrari, who are almost synonymous with the sport, a secret agreement took place between them and the FIA to reel them back in, but no penalties or punishments were dished out. The next year, 2020, saw Ferrari and their customer teams lose so much performance that it was incredibly obvious that something had gone on behind the scenes, despite the then team principal Matteo Binotto denying everything. A statement from the FIA at that time read, The FIA announces that, after thorough technical investigations, it has concluded its analysis of the operation of the Scuderia Ferrari Formula 1 power unit and reached a settlement with the team. And note, the specifics of this agreement will remain between the parties. Bit cheeky. The FIA and Scuderia Ferrari have agreed to a number of technical commitments that will improve the monitoring of all Formula 1 power units for forthcoming championship seasons, as well as assist the FIA and other regulatory duties in Formula 1, and in its research activities on carbon emissions and sustainable fuels. Now that's a very easy way of saying, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna put a few sensors on their engine and just watch what happens. With Red Bull, it's the DRS advantage that makes them so, so fast. But according to Hamilton, they haven't got that anymore, proven by the fact that he outqualified both cars in what we deem to be a slower car for the first time this season. Joined with the fact that Verstappen's number one car had random checks performed on it after the British Grand Prix, Fans, drivers, and pundits are wondering whether the FIA have stepped in. Max is blaming this performance on a poor setup, which it may well be, especially when you take into account the sheer pace they had during the race today. And to be honest, without any official statement from the FIA or F1 or Red Bull or a leak from inside the organisations, we won't know anything for sure. Fortunately, with Hamilton drawing attention to this, almost urging the media to ask some questions, Maybe we might hear something soon. The question we can answer right now is, is this actually a realistic idea? I believe it is. In F1, if you're not cheating, you're not trying hard enough. And with someone like Adrian Newey behind the aerodynamics of the car, I wouldn't be surprised if there is something questionable about the rear of the car and or how the air is guided there. At least a loophole that they could be manipulating. If the FIA know, they likely won't want to bring more drama to Red Bull after 2021, the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, the cost cap, and now they're at the front of the pack. It would reflect very badly on the sport. And with this being such an important time as F1 grows rapidly in America and as a whole, this is the last thing they'll want. The thing that maybe goes against this idea is just how fast they were during today's race. Verstappen led the race from start to finish despite starting in P2. And Hamilton, who started in the best position away from the dirty right-hand side of the track, slipped quickly down to P4 from pole, behind Max Verstappen and behind the McLaren drivers. It's believable, but after today's race, a little less believable. I'd like F1 to have a closer look at the car, because after a record 11 consecutive race victories in a row, like many others, I'm starting to feel as though I'd like a bit of variety. But... Of course, if Red Bull are within the regulations, which I highly suspect they are, then they deserve every bit of success because not only have they developed a brilliant car, but as a team they've perfected strategies, pit stops, management, engineering, this should be celebrated and we should be happy to be watching this unfold in front of us. 
I've reached out to the sources I have, so I'll hopefully know more in the coming days and weeks, but right now it's fair to say that the Milton Keynes team might be under a bit of scrutiny from other teams right now. Anyway, I'd like to know your thoughts on whether Red Bull is not cheating, but pushing the boundaries of the rule book, let's say. Let me know down in the comments. And while you're down there, please like and subscribe. For daily news, rumours and editorials, go to f1briefings.com, the largest F1 website in America. We're very proud of that fact. I've been Alex Harrington. See you in the next video.